Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel and today we're going to be doing a Madden 21 simulation with my fantasy football team for this upcoming season. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this video and if you do, please drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I would really appreciate it and make sure you have that post notification bell turned on as well so you get notified when my new Madden 21 videos are up and live on the channel. But with that being said... Let's get into this video. Russell Wilson is my quarterback for my fantasy football team this season. I was happy I was able to pick him up. But who did I pick up in the first round? That was Derrick Henry. I had the 10th overall pick in my fantasy draft, and I drafted this guy, Derrick Henry, and a 93 overall. He's going to be good for this simulation. Let's just go and check out everybody that I have here. So Russell Wilson, Derrick Henry. Amari Cooper at my receiver one along with Cooper Cup as well. Let's not forget about Darius Slayton and DK Metcalf along with McCole Hardman. And then we're going to look at the running backs. Derrick Henry is running back one. We're going to have Mark Ingram, Ronald Jones, Adrian Peterson, and you can't see him. He's not on the list, but Jonathan Taylor is there as well. He is at RB5. Uh, and then for the offensive line, for the sake of the simulation, I mixed the Derrick Henry Titans offensive line and Russell Wilson Seahawks offensive line because those are the people that are going to be blocking for them. So I'm like, we'll just add a mix of both. So Taylor Juan, obviously, from the Titans. Mikey Upati from the Seahawks. Ben Jones from the Titans. Saffold from the Titans. And then Brown from the Seahawks. And then we're going to go look at the tight ends. We got Travis Kelsey, best tight end in the league. Secured him for my fantasy team. And then Mike Kosicki as our backup tight end, our bench tight end, you could say, for fantasy. Now, defensive-wise, I drafted the Bears defense. So, with that being said, I pretty much have the whole Bears defense here on this franchise simulation. So, I got Khalil Mack. Our linebacker cord is unbelievable. At left outside linebacker, Roquan Smith, Danny Trevathan, and Robert Quinn. They're just stacked. And the safeties, Eddie Jackson and Deshaun Gibson Sr. as well. Then we got Kyle Fuller at cornerback. One, he's going to be locking it down there. Buster Scrine and Johnson as well right there. And then we got uh, Jenkins, Christmas, and at our ends, Akeem Hicks and Nicholas for our right end. So, and then special teams, I drafted the... Cardinals kicker Zane Gonzalez so we got him at our kicker spot and then we got Andy Lee I think he was a good uh, choice at kicker because you know the Cardinals have a pretty high scoring offense and he's gonna be getting a lot of extra points along with field goals so I said why not and then we got McCole Hardman as well so he's gonna be our kicker turner for the sake of this simulation and we're gonna generate the best lineup and we have 86 overall 89 offense 84 defense so we'll see if that uh overall goes up uh during this video but with that being said we're gonna get started in the simulation we're gonna see how well we do with this team according to madden my fantasy team so let's check it out let's go um i predicting we're going either 11 to 5 or 12 and 4 that's my prediction tell me what you guys predict my fantasy team will go in this madden simulation will they go to the super bowl that's my goal, obviously, but I think they'll make playoffs easily. They'll definitely win a division, and we'll see what happens there. But we're simming midway through the season. I do have injuries on, so injuries can happen. And then we'll see what happens from there. We'll take a look at the stats, see how well we're doing with the NFL. So we're 4-2-1. and one. Who ties a game in the NFL? That's what I want to know. Right, we're going to upgrade this guy for the sake of simulation. Don't know who he is. We'll upgrade him. Sure, why not? Okay, so we're 87 overall. We went up one overall midway through the season, stats-wise. Let's go. Here we go. Russell Wilson is doing great. Look at that touchdown to interception ratio. 13 TDs, 2 picks, 1,500 yards passing, uh, 69 completion percentage, 112 QBR, sacked only 5 times. We got a stellar offensive line. Uh, Rushing-wise, Derrick Henry has... Almost 600 yards, 5 TDs. Mark Ingram's got 7 TDs. Russell Wilson's also got a rushing TD as well. So put 14 TDs for Russell Wilson on a season. Ronald Jones began some action. And Adrian Peterson, eh, not doing that hot. Darius Slayton is our leading receiver uh, with 4 TDs. And then we got Travis Kelsey. 
and then Amari Cooper, and then Mark Ingram, and then Cooper Cup's down there, and then Gesicki. You could take a look at the stats yourself. I'm not going to read each individual stat line. I'm just showing you the order. Our leading receiver is Darius Slayton from the New York Giants. He's going to have a breakout year in my eyes, but defensive-wise, let's see. Roquan Smith is our leading tackler. Who is leading us in sacks? And that is going to be Khalil Mack, obviously. And then interceptions, I'm guessing, oh, Roquan Smith. I was going to say Kyle Fuller, but okay. And then Tashawn Gibson, our strong safety, is second. Not too bad. How's our kicker doing? How's Zane? Zane is 100%, and he's made 26 extra points, three field goals. So not bad. Not bad at all. Punting-wise, how's my punter? He only had to punt 17 times, and he's had three touchbacks and seven punts down within the 20. So, boom, Andy Lee's killing it. Uh, defense, offense, 14th in the NFL. Defensively, we're 10th. So, not bad, not bad at all. We're going to change depth chart a little bit. Shake things up for the simulation. Why? Because everyone on your fantasy team has to play. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put... Matthew Stafford, start him the second half of the season, just cause why not? And then we'll give uh, Jonathan Taylor some reps at RB two. We'll keep Derrick Henry in at RB one. Give Adrian Peterson running back three, and then yeah, we'll put Mark Ingram at running back four. Yeah, that works. And then receiver wise, we're going to bring Darius Slayton up there cause he's been killing it. Right, and then we're gonna give Cooper Cup a notch down to receiver five, and then we'll pull up Mike Isicki at six receiver because why not? And then we're gonna have Mike Isicki. Nah, we're not. We're gonna have Travis Kelsey start, he's way better. And then I think that's it, that's it for now. And then we're going to see how well we do second half of the season with those guys start instead of the real starters. Because just saying, like, oh, that player's on a bye week, so this is what's going to happen with these players. It's, it's going to work out. Trust me, it's going to work out. But hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. And if you are, drop a like, subscribe. There's going to be plenty of Madden 21 content coming your way. I was thinking of maybe doing a series with my fantasy team, like playing a full season, like game by game. And if we lose a game, we drop one of our receivers, you know? Wow, we didn't make the playoffs. We didn't make the playoffs. We did not make the playoffs with my fantasy team. Finished 8-7-1. The Niners won the division. That is that is something else. So, corner this, my fantasy team ain't going to make the playoffs. We're going to do two seasons, though. Two seasons, see how well. Nah, I don't know. Yeah, we'll do two seasons. We'll do two seasons, see how well they do in the simulation. Because I don't think one season's enough. It's probably because I started Matthew Stafford over Russell Wilson. Why I do that? Change it up. See what would happen. But I wanted to see the stats. What am I doing? Stats. Let's take a look at the stats. See how well Matthew Stafford did. Not good enough, obviously. But it's okay. He had 2,000 yards. 14 TDs. 4 picks. I don't see what the problem was. I guess our defense just sucked. Derrick Henry. 1,300 yards. 9 TDs. What's wrong, man? Mark Ingram, 9 TDs. They both had 9. Russell Wilson at 2. Stafford at 3. Okay. Jonathan Taylor got him a touchdown. Okay. Receiving wise, Darius Slayton, 1,000 yard receiver, 10 TDs. Amari Cooper putting in some work, but not as enough, not a lot as Darius Slayton. But Travis Kelsey doing, doing his job. 685 yards, 2 TDs. Mark Ingram. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. DK, wish he could have had more production, but... And Cooper Cup, like, what happened? Well, I did put him down the depth chart. But this time around in the simulation, we are going to send the season, right? We're going to do that. We're going to sim to next season, right? And then what we're going to do is take a look at how well my starters do the whole season. Alright, we're going to do that this time instead of putting Stafford in instead of Russell. Because 
I just wanted to see how well they did, and they didn't even make the playoffs. So now this time around, we're just going to keep the starters in the whole time. See how well the starters do playing a complete season. Like, I did, I put Stafford in instead of Russell because what if Russell got a season-ending injury and would, like, replicate that in Madden, in the Madden simulation? But now we're just going to say Russell plays the full season and Matthew Stafford got hurt and he never took the field. So we're going to do that as this simulation is taking forever to simulate okay now the question is did i keep the whole team and for the most part it looks like it russell's still here yeah for the most part everyone is still here which is fine that's good okay i was worried about that defensively everyone's still here besides we got a rookie d tackle we'll just say the bears drafted him the next year right and then Sean Gibson left, and then we got Simpson now at strong safety. So there's that. I probably could put Buster Scrine at strong safety. Let's do that. We'll put Buster. No, wait. We'll just do this. This this will make him start, right? If I go like this. Now he's starting. Okay, cool. Now, with that being said, we're going to fix the depth chart. Make sure... It's how it's supposed to be. And then we're going to simulate a season. See how well Russell does. All right, Russell. Russell's in there. All right, Mark Ingram, Jonathan Taylor. It doesn't look like Adrian Peterson is here anymore. So he probably retired, which is fine. It's not like he was a, a major factor in the simulation. With that being said, Darius Slayton now is receiver too. I guess Cooper Cup went bye-bye. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Cooper Cup wasn't even good in that simulation. We're going to upgrade these players for the sake of the simulation. All right, cool. Now we're going to see how well my fantasy team does with the starters playing the whole season. We're just going to sim all the way to the playoffs. Can they just make the playoffs all the way? We're not going to do mid-season crap because then this video will be too long. We're going to sim just all the way to the playoffs. See if they make the playoffs. And if they don't, that's unfortunate. But I think they will this round, this time around because Russell's starting. And with Russell starting, that means they're going to be A-OK -okay at the quarterback position. Maybe Matthew Stafford just wasn't the guy. But his stats looked like he was the guy. I, I, I don't know. But we're going to wait here as it simulates. And breaking news today, Leonard Fournette did get released by the Jacksonville Jaguars. I was very surprised by that. So they pretty much got rid of everybody on that playoff team that started. Uh... They're in Jacksonville. So, I don't know what they're doing as a franchise. They are tanking for Trevor Lawrence. Looks like we made the playoffs this time around. We're going to upgrade these players because why not, right? Do that. Cool. All right. We got ourselves an 88 overall. Stat-wise, we finished 11-5. That's what I predicted if all our starters played. So, okay. 11-5. Cool. Russell. 30, TT, 30 TDs, 7 picks, right? Okay, 3,400 yards. He played the full season, looks like. He only got sacked 10 times. Not bad, played in all 16 games. Cool, that's what I like. Derrick Henry had another productive season. 1,300 yards, 15 TDs. Mark Ingram, 9 TDs. Russell, 3. Ronnie Jones, 3. Okay, receiving-wise. Travis Kelsey this time around was the leading receiver. Darius Slayton took a year off, you know. He's like, eh, I don't want to have a 1,000 yards. So he got 655, and then Amari Cooper, he stepped in. He was our second leading receiver. Cool. DK, he had a more productive season. And, yeah, things worked out. Things worked out. We're 11-5. We made the playoffs. Roquan Smith, okay. He was the leading tackler on the team. Cleo Mack, leading sack. Sa leading sacker? Yeah, leading sacker. Sack leader. Boom. There you go. English. 11 sacks. Okay. Cool. How many picks? How many picks? Who's the leading picks, man? Danny Trevathan. Our interceptions leader, Danny Trevathan, with five. The big old five. And then we got Kyle Fuller at two, which is good. And then our rookie, the Bears drafted. But it really says the Seahawks. But it's the Bears because we're using the Bears defense. They got Keaton over there cornerback and they got he got two picks all right so boom Rokon smith he had 89 solo tackles all right he was putting in the work now can my fantasy team make the super bowl is the question we all have 
So let's do it. Let's do it right now. Can my fantasy team make the Super Bowl? So guess what? We're playing the Packers in a divisional round. We had a bye week, all right? That's cool and all. But with that being said, we got to win this game if we want to go to the Super Bowl. We have to win this game. We got to beat Aaron Rodgers. And we lost. All right. Well, we made it to the divisional round of the playoffs. We did all that hard work, went 11 and 5, put in that work, and we just lost to Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to send to the Pro Bowl, see if any of our players made the Pro Bowl, all right? See if we had any Pro Bowl type of players. Let's see what happens. So, Russell Wilson, QB1, best quarterback in the NFL. Cool. That's what I like to see. Derrick Henry, halfback three. He put in the work. And he got the job done at a 96 overall. He went up an overall, I'm pretty sure three. From the start of the video to the end of this video. Alright, so two of our players I drafted are already in the Pro Bowl. Okay, cool. Now, Travis Kelsey, another three players in the Pro Bowl. Those are my th first three picks. So, that's cool to see. Now, we got Saffold. We got the Titans offensive lineman in the picture at the Pro Bowl. We got four Pro Bowlers. Let's keep counting, right? Four. What else? What else we got here? And five. Khalil Mack. Okay. And then I think that might be it. And it is. We had five Pro Bowlers from our fantasy team make the Pro Bowl. So with that being said, I said I drafted a pretty successful team according to Madden. We didn't make the playoffs the first time because I started Matthew Stafford second half of the season. But this time around, I did not make that mistake. And I made sure to keep Russell in there for the second season we simulated. And boom, we had made the playoffs. And we lost in the divisional round, but we couldn't control that. Aaron Rodgers is just, he's a bad man. But... That's all I have for you guys today. If you guys want to see more Madden 21 content, drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I would really appreciate it. But that is all I have for you guys today. Rock Soldier 72 signing off.